Deputy Nicholas Worthy, Brevard County Sheriff's Office, nominated by Florida Sheriff's Association. On February 6, 2015, Deputy Worthy was one of three deputies that responded to a residence in Coco regarding a vehicle fire. Upon arrival, they found a vehicle in the driveway fully engulfed in flames. The fire had also spread to another vehicle in the carport and onto the eaves of the home. The three deputies began banging on the windows to try to notify occupants. occupants. Deputy Worthy broke out one of the bedroom windows as they worked together to locate the occupants and carry them to safety in a burning home that we all know is about to explode any minute. On March 9, 2015, at 9.08 p.m., a 911 call was received describing a man standing in the street firing a handgun at random cars and houses. The city of Cocoa was the primary agency that responded to the call with Deputy Worthy responding as backup. As it turned out, he was the closest officer and got there first. The man, who turned out to be the active shooter, acted as if he was going to run. So Deputy Worthy activated his blue lights, announcing that he was a deputy sheriff. As soon as the lights came on, the, set, the bad guy reached into his pocket, pulled out a handgun, and began firing at him. One of the first shots came through the patrol car's windshield embedded in the headset, narrowly missing Deputy Worthy's head. Deputy Worthy exited and sought better cover from behind his car. The shooter, in a highly agitated state, pursued Worthy to the rear of the car, but he didn't know who he was messing with, I added that, shooting the entire time. At one point, the subject was running towards Deputy Worthy, and it was at this time that Deputy Worthy confronted the subject and responded with deadly force. Deputy Worthy's actions were truly an act of courage and heroism that day. He placed himself in imminent danger to protect the lives of others without hesitation. His actions exemplify the highest degree of honor and the ideas of the Brevard County Sheriff's Office. For his heroic actions during this incident, he was awarded with the Medal of Valor from the Brevard County Sheriff's Office. Thank you, Deputy Worthy, for all your work. Investigator Jason Paul, Volusia County Sheriff's Office, nominated by the Florida Retailers. Jason, come on up. In April 2015, Investigator Paul was assigned a gift card racketeering case and thought it would be just another case file to add to the pile that had greeted him at work each day. What he didn't know was that this case would be one of the largest retail theft investigations in Florida's history. People don't think what, what they do isn't sexy. It doesn't get the headlines all the time but um, it is dangerous. You're dealing with very dangerous people and you're saving our state millions of dollars um, in prices rising and you're helping so many consumers and businesses. Officer Paul has utilized his keen skills, determination, and investigative tenacity to solve crimes to ensure that Florida's 270,000 retailers and their millions of customers are provided the safety and protection that law enforcement officers like Officer Paul bring to the citizens of Florida every day. And I can tell you, these are paper cases and they are so complicated. Yeah, I mean, they would make your head spin, wouldn't they? They're so detailed. And you solved one of the biggest ones in our history. Thank you. Thank you, and, and one last thing, a commentary, is, is I say this all the time, you've all heard it, but if you're listening on the Florida Channel, if you get pulled over by a police officer, thank them, because they're out there risking their lives for you every single day.